Right, we're going to make a jug, or several jugs. We use uh, six ounces of clay. And first of all, we center it on the wheel. We do this by using water and bringing it up into a cone and flattening it again, trying to bring it into the center using pressure from both arms. Take your time at doing this. You can make it into a cone several times and keep bringing it down. It makes the clay more malleable. And the better you have it centered, the easier it is to be able to throw your pot. You can run your finger over it just to check whether it is in center or whether it has a, a wobble, whether you need to work on it a bit more. When you have it centered, you're happy with it, make a well, again using water, and put pressure on it, not too far down so that you've got a good base. And when you've reached that point, bring your thumbs out and raise the pot all in one action. Keep lubricating the pot with water so that you don't uh, cause undue friction because this will cause the pot to go out of center or produce a huge wobble that you can't control. So you need the water inside the pot and outside the pot. It's possible to throw pots with a, a small wobble uh, but if the wobble is concerning you then you can use a wire or a needle and just take off the top. When you're pulling a pot up, you're putting pressure on the inside and the outside. And then just steadily raising it up. When you've arrived at the height of the jug that you're intending to throw, it's possible to start putting some shape into it. However, the pots naturally tend to, or the clay should I say, naturally tends to want to flare out at the top and so it's important to be able to bring this back in. Again, it's similar to coning, just bring the pot back in and then you've got it under your control again. Some potters like to work with a mirror in front of them uh, so that they can actually have a, a better angle of the pot and uh, it enables you to be able to know exactly what your pot looks like and it's easier to throw. So we just produce the lip there for the jug. It's important to remove any excess clay from the base. Do this whilst it's on the wheel. It saves an awful lot of time later on when it comes to putting the handles on and cleaning up the pot. However, if you've got too much excess clay or you want to just change the shape a little bit, then you can turn the pot on the wheel once it's leather hard. Now we're making the spout. First of all we thin out the edge of the clay. I'm actually doing this quite far down because I'm actually raising the spout. Then with two fingers and another finger just pull the spout. Just going over with a chamois just over the edge and then take out the excess water otherwise that would cause the pot to crack. I've got into the habit of using water uh, prior to taking the wire to take the pot off the wheel 
and this enables me to take it off without any undue pulling and then it doesn't distort the pot. Now when you've weighed out your clay into six ounce balls or, or whatever you're going to make it's possible without any guide to actually throw consistently to the same size and shape. 